Welcome to Val Wyatt. Today we've got a, another rare opportunity uh, and it's to show you around this stunning Intercruiser 34 that's just, just over there behind me. Really is probably one of the most uh, beautiful boats we sell so I'm quite excited to show you around and get you on board. So this is a Dutch built boat um, by Intercruiser. It's the, probably the, the flagship of their range. This particular boat is fitted with a lot of optional extras um, and I'll try and talk you through as many of those as I can when I walk you around it. Um, but just wanted to give you an overall view before we, we start going on board. Probably one of the, the, one of the most distinctive features um, is this beautiful transom there. Start up at the bow around the outside and then um, I will get you, get you, get you on board, uh, show you the lovely cockpit and then get down below into the cabin space. Um, it's got the lovely uh, puddening on the, on the bow there. This boat has been fitted with a synthetic teak deck which, we, which you can see there. So that, the name of that product is S-Tech and you're going to see that some places in the boat but also the boat's got a solid teak cockpit floor which I'll show you. Um, coming round onto the cabin roof, you, this lovely uh, varnish wood finish there that is an optional extra and also the stunning windscreen which I, I just want to keep taking photos and showing that to you because it really is beautiful coming around you've got nice on the practical side nice high handrails to move around the boat and both port and starboard you've got access points here just moving you round back down and there's going to be more photographs um, which I'll drop into the video just so you can see how beautiful that transom is on this particular boat. Just stepped onto the swim platform, access to the boat is really good. You've got a couple of options. You've got this little transom door here, so if you're boarding from the stern you can just hop onto the swim platform and then come through that way and that gives you really easy access into the cockpit. There is another option. Um, this boat uh, has been fitted, sorry for the delay there, uh, has been specced up with a boarding pole. So you can remove these cushions at the side if you wanted to board from the side of the boat. Uh, and there is a socket for a boarding pole, which I'll drop in in a moment and just show you how that looks. Back there, I hope you're not getting too much wind noise. I popped the boarding pole in on the starboard side. So if you're approaching the boat, you can have the side gate open that I showed you, come onto the deck, and then if you wanted some steadying as you step down into the cockpit, you can pop that pole in and then it just lifts out and you can stow it away in a locker. A little walkthrough um, of what, what you've got available up here in terms of seating up in this cockpit. Also you've got that lovely uh, L shape going around there. Probably five, six people, no problem at all. Uh, and then you've got this other little seat here. Um, the helmsman's seat and the navigator's seat also swivel round, so you could have you could turn both of those round if you weren't underway. Uh, and then you'd have our facing seating with those as well. Um, that beautiful table does actually drop down. You can see. Uh, you've got the support there for it, so uh, that can go down to that position and there is a further infill cushion to make that into an occasional sunbed or even possibly an occasional berth if the canopies were all up. Around to practical items, um, just down in there you've got a shower that's hot and cold. There's your shore power connection. Uh, you've got cockpit lights in here, a cockpit fridge. Um, you've got a heating outlet for this area, so if the canopies are up and it's towards the, the, the end of the season or very early in the season, you can heat this area. I um, hope you can see that we've got a, a solid teak floor up here, uh, and I'm just going to show you down into the engine, which is this central panel here. I'm just going to put the camera down for a moment and uh, open that up for you. So this particular boat is fitted with a 110 horsepower Yanmar. Um, there are other power plants available for it, and if you contact us, we can talk you through the spec that options are available. You've got a really big engine room in this boat out there to give you a perspective on how much space you've got. Your weed filter is very easily accessible there and then down in the sides you can see that you've got tons if you wanted to, um, tons of extra storage so if you're away on long trips there's plenty of storage space and it's also uh, an engineer's dream because it's very easy to get down in there and access all the simple components on the engine and service and work on it. After that main engine access um, there's a secondary access there so you can just see we've got into that space too. So you can use that for storage. A nice, simple and uh, really ergonomic helm. I'll talk you through the extras that are fitted on the boat. You probably see the joysticks there. So we've got bow and stern thrusters. You've got a Raymarine speed and depth. Uh, your engine instrumentation. 
it revs and you get further information in the LCD display there. This boat's been fitted with a rudder indicator. Coming down there, that controller over on that side, uh, that little panel is uh, for your wipers. Uh, down at the side here, you've got your throttle and your bilge pump controls. The key is, uh, well, it's a, it's a dual system. You've got an ignition key there in a conventional way, and then you have the Yanmar ignition system up there. So it's great, great, uh, easy, and plenty of space up there. And I hope the sun's shining at us, but you've got really good all-round visibility. I'll take you down below to show you what's down here. So that's the overall view into, into the main cabin. Um, I'm gonna drop a photo into, of this area. Um, you've got this lovely dinette, that table drops down and makes another double bed. But we'll go on down and look in more detail. Galley's over on the port side. Uh, you've got underneath here, your gas hob. Coming round, you've got a top loading a fridge. So you've got that cockpit fridge up there, and then you've got a second top loading fridge in there, which looks well stocked for a day out. Microwave up there, your sink, and then down below, you've got lots and lots of storage. So take you around onto the starboard side. As I said, you've got this as your dinette, but it is dual purpose. So that drops down, infills, and the cushion's actually up in the uh, up in the main cabin. I'll show you that there. Your breakers and your main switch panel is up here. The boat's fitted with heating. It's the latest generation of the Ebus Batcher. That's the controller for it. You've got a Victron combined inverter and charger, and then all your main switches for the boat. Up there, so just take you into the main cabin. You've got a lovely island berth, tons of storage. So it's, a, I think it's a mirror image, and it's not quite a mirror image. Uh, on this side, you've got double cupboard there, hanging space, uh, and then your shelf going around there. This side's similar, but you've got a little bit more storage in there on this side. And access to the bilge down there. Coming aft, I'll take you round into the toilet and shower. So this is a wet room, so the uh, shower comes out from the tap there. Electric toilet, and then that's a wet room. And you've got your shower hook up there. Access to some storage, further storage below the sink, if I can get the door open, which I can't, there we go. When I can, I like to give a little bit of perspective on headroom if you've got something you think might be a confined space. So I am just standing um, in the shower toilet compartment. You can probably see, see the basin there behind me. But uh, quite a lot of headroom. I'm about five foot ten, and uh, hopefully you can see up there, there's quite a bit of space above me. So it's not, uh, it's not confined space, in boat terms anyway. So before I round off and end the video today, I wanted to show you the different canopy options that come with the boat. Uh, we're nearing the end of the day, so we've completely um, covered the boat over. Um, and I wanted to show you what a great space this makes. You've got full standing height throughout the boat with the canopies on. So you could be underway like this, and you have great visibility. I think you can see um, visibility is no issue whatsoever. In terms of access, if you needed to uh, do lines or whatever, you can have uh, access out through uh, these side sections here, which you can keep um, uh, rolled up um, and with the tapes there. Alternatively, you've got transom access, you've got that door, which I mentioned earlier, uh, and then that zip section just uh, zips away as well, so you can have that permanently open. Alternatively, you can have the back uh, unzipped and completely out. Uh, the main canopy is in two sections. So uh, you can see this zip running around there. So you can have all of that back off and leave the forward part, which is the spray hood up. Um, and you can just uh, see that that would be that section still on the boat. And again, you could be underway and I will drop in a photograph of how the boat looks um, with it like that. There are other, another option. You can have that spray hood as a forward bimini only because this windscreen section is removable as well. So there's lots of versatility on that. Uh, to give you shade, shelter from the rain, whatever it is you want. I mentioned earlier in the video, but I'll mention it again, there is heating up here. So if you've got all these canopies on and you have the heating on, it will make a fairly um, cosy area if the weather's poor. 
that brings us to the end of the video walk around for this Intercruiser 34. If you've got any questions about the boat, if you're watching on YouTube, comment below. Uh, alternatively, click the link for the boat and that'll take you through to our website where all our contact details are. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.